So recently, <clears throat> a lot of the guys you see on the channel have started buying Pan Americas, and I'm talking like five or six of them. So today we're going to ask the question, why buy a Pan America? One's just rocked up now. All right, why buy a Pan America? Well, <clears throat> I've got a dirt bike background, so um, I've always wanted to get back onto the dirt. I thought um, Harley made a off-road bloody bike, so I thought, you know what, <laughs> why not? <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, they are a fantastic looking machine. And oh, and they go unbelievable. They're awesome, yeah, yeah. really good. So yours is the 2024 model, correct? Yeah. So what, because they had a few problems at the start, then they changed a few things now, haven't they? What, what, so what's the what's the deal now? What, what are yeah. they, what's different on them? They, well, their main issues was was with the battery. They, they were, um, the batteries were um, going flat, even just um, just, just sitting there for yep. no reason. Even if you go for a ride, sometimes they just go dead flat and they'll leave you stranded, you know? So with the new 24s, they've upgraded the stator, they've upgraded the wiring system, and they've also put a bigger battery now in them. Um, and then they've also done a few like little things like the windscreen used to be a little bit little bit floppy yep. but now they've, they've strengthened the windscreen yep. this area here um, so there's a few little changes that, that, that they've done for the 24 models um, and that was one of the main reasons why I waited till the 24s came out oh and the bugs out yeah yeah exactly but um, yeah so far so good let's investigate the rest of the day let's ask all these other bikes who've got these Pan Americas what their plans are why they bought them let's talk about Pan Americas so the plan today is we're heading up to Bendigo. Along the way, we're going to pick up another couple of blokes with bikes. When we get to Bendigo, we're going to have a feed. I think there's like an American barbecue place up there. So we're going to jump in there, have a feed, talk about these bikes. Generally, it should be a good day. Perfect weather again. Fantastic. Looks like we're stopping for donuts. Apparently these are the best donuts going around and the boys are fanging for a donut. So we've pulled over to get some donuts. I don't know, hot jam donuts. Let's check them out. So these are these famous donuts. What do you reckon, Mark? Look at that. Looking beautiful, mate. Bloody beautiful. Hot. I think I'll have all six. <laughs> Sugar, jam. Heart attack in a bun. Bikes. We're asking one. Okay? <laughs> it comes back with a handbag. Yum. Lucky we did it now. You wouldn't feel like it after lunch. No. If you eat a, a palmer or something. Can I just get you're not gonna have donuts. Yep. This is worth the trip. Mate, they're nice. Mm. Well, I can only say that's the best hot jam donut I've had. I'm not a massive fan of hot jam donuts, but they're nice. I'm a big fan. Mm. I have a lot of donuts. I live on donuts. <laughs> As you can see, these are good donuts. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Flat out. I can't believe we just smashed three donuts each and now we're going for lunch. All right, so number two Pan America rider here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Zappa. Yes, mate. So what, what, what's the go with the, with the Pan America? Why, why Pan America? 
I don't know, John brought one and we offloaded him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's obviously the, the main reason to buy The main reason, yeah. He just, he just said, oh, we'll get one with you. All right, we'll get one too. Yeah. So are you planning on ri doing rides with it or going somewhere or going off-road with it more or what are you doing? No, I'll just go to the servo. Just, yeah? Just to get some chips. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, some yeah. chips. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We plan, we plan to do a ride um, one day. I'm not yep. sure when, but that's, that's the idea. Yeah. So. Like a big outback trip or? Yeah. 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 So you're going to do more sort of off-road stuff or you, or you just done it to... Because obviously Darren's got a uh, Deluxe. Deluxe, yeah. A 2017 Deluxe? 20. 2020 Deluxe. And uh, so how will you balance that riding out? You, you'll do more of this stuff now, I reckon, or more on the on the Deluxe? Well, that's the problem. You don't know. You're sort of going, which one shall I take? And, and the problem with this one is too quiet. I just can't hear it. Uh, Especially I'm, compared to your Deluxe. Compared to the Deluxe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you, have you got a dirt riding background? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you rode, I think you used to work at a track, didn't you, one thing? Yeah, yeah, I used to race motocross and yep. back in the day, before I broke every bone in my body. <laughs> <laughs> and, and what do you like about it so far? Um, pros, I guess, What's, what are the pros? It's different, very different. Yep. It's got a lot more power, I think, well, it's got 150 horsepower. Yep. Um, yeah, it's it's just a different bike. My indicators are different now, it's just getting used to that sort of stuff. Yep. But, and, and so, so what, are you, what would you say that the main positives are? Is it obviously more power? What else would, would you say was a, a bonus? A plus? Plus. I think going on dirt road. Yep. Probably, you can, yeah, it's, you can go dirt road. Probably, um, I, got, I bought a top box for it. Yep. Um, so mine's a budget bike compared to everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm getting everything off Timu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> um, yeah. As long as you get your wife off Timu, because that can be an issue. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just sold another one, look. <laughs> yeah, I'll get one too, mate. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I reckon Harley should, Harley should be start, start giving me some endorsements here. Yeah. It's all his fault. I'm telling you, it's all his fault. <laughs> I was not looking for a Pan America, let me tell you. How'd you go with the height? I'm straight, well, it's got the, um, the short ass seat on it. Yep. They call it the reach seat. Yep. Uh, compared to John's, which is a standard one. Yep. Uh, so it just came with it, so luckily enough, yep. uh, I can I can just flat foot. Um, it's just got the it's just got the yeah. So when you stop, it drops down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what year is this one? Twenty two. Okay. There's a few bugs on this that you can, you can tell he's an off-roader with the bugs on it. At least you also got some friggin' dirt on it. Yeah, I go off-road properly. <laughs> Alright, so how long you had it now? Oh, that's a good question. Two months. Two months? Two months. Alright, pros. Pros. Go anywhere. Yep. Comfortable. Yep. Um, great road tourer. Yep. Good on the dirt. Um, and you can cut a heap of luggage. Yep. Cons. Um, it's not a traditional V-twin. Yep. Um, and we don't know how reliable it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> but no, 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 it, that's probably it. Probably tall for, I'm, I'm six foot three, it doesn't matter. Yep. But for someone who's short, yep. that would be... That would be vertically challenged. We can't say short now. It'd be an issue. Yeah. Yeah. So, yep. no, nah, all good. And what, 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 have you, what have you done to it to, to so far? You've done a few things to it? Luggage. Phone holder. Let's have a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. So this is it here. This is it here. Yep. yep. So it's got um, hard panniers. Yep. I've got um, highway highway pegs. Yep. Oh here, yeah, yep. Yep. I've, I've got different foot pegs. Yep. So it's a bit more comfortable there. I've got a engine guard, a yep. exhaust guard, um, multiple camera mounts. Yep. <laughs> for, for doing what you do. Yep. 
Um, different windscreen. Yep. What's going on here? This is got a bit of a, oh. Yeah, that's called when a bird hits you <laughs> full on at 100 k's an hour. <laughs> and then um, bars. What do you do? The, put, put the risers I've on. I've got um, two inches, two inches up, one inch back. Yep. And then I've moved the bars forward. Ladies, you all know how much difference two inches makes. It makes a huge. Yeah, yeah. It's huge. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, what else have I done? Screen. Yep. And that's pretty much it. Yep. That's pretty much it. And you sump guard. Yep. And happy you got it? Love it. So how would you compare this like what compared to your I mean you got a you got a rogue lot as well? How would you compare the two? What what okay. If you if 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 all of a sudden everybody said, listen, you gotta gotta get rid of you got you gotta keep one bike, which would it be? ST. ST. <laughs> Without a doubt. Yep. Yep. This will go everywhere and yep. do everything, but the ST is the god of gods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So we've got a plethora of of of, of off-road wankers here today. Look at them all. They're everywhere. And then you've got the rose amongst the thorns. It's a bigger wanker. <laughs> Dirt glide, road glide. Dirt glide, road glide. The king of kings. All right. Jace, you've got the yellow canary. Dangerous, yellow and dangerous. Yeah, yeah. So something different. So what? why did you get it? Because uh, Philby got one. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta keep up with the Joneses, mate. There's a thing going on here. John started it and everybody else has followed. So, um, are you liking it? Yeah, I'm loving it. Now yeah. you just you just did a bit of an off-road trip. I did. Yep, yep. How did it perform? Uh, really well. Yeah, yeah. yeah the the thing was with it was is I got the Vance and Hines pipe, and then I liked it, but now I really like it. Yep, yep. So that's just made it that the element just a little bit better and you know when you're fanging it through the bush and all that sort of thing so know, what was it like off-road was it good off-road like yeah not yeah, too heavy fantastic. didn't notice it no. No. no i haven't done a lot of this sort of stuff yep. so i probably haven't got much to compare to but, okay yep um you know i grew up on a farm and yep. been riding bird bikes and stuff like that so but yeah no it was it was fine on that track i went up uh you know it, it performed excellent awesome yeah. darren dags asprey Hi. Now you just got yours too, didn't you? Yeah. When did you get yours? Fr Friday. Well, Friday afternoon. He's a he's he's a he's a Pan Am virgin. <laughs> so you pop, since I was a virgin. So you pop your, you pop your cherry. <laughs> yeah, so how are you finding it so far? You, awesome. you, you come up from Creswick today. Yeah, love it. Um, on the highway. Yep. Uh, so how's it run on the highway? Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Now what, what what's the other bike you have? You have a street glide. Street glide. So again, I'll ask you the same question. If it, all of a sudden everybody said you can only keep one bike, which one would it be? Streety. Yep, Streety. Yeah. And so, what are you going to do to yours? Anything special you're going to do to change? I mean, you've done a lot already. Let's have a look at your bike. You've put the, uh, I mean, a lot has happened since Friday. So you've got the, you got the luggage on? Yep, soft bags. Yep. And why did you go soft bags? Um, just more practical yeah probably yeah, yeah. If, I, if I do come off they don't smash yeah I yeah. can't damage anything yep yep <laughs> just to start and, so, and, and, and softer to land on yeah and you've also got the these the same the bags on, on the on the engine guards as well yep what else did you do uh, put a thing phone there mount. for my phone mount um, put pivot pegs on yep what's the benefit of them uh, wider foot imprint yep okay yep so you can see yep. the bars through the and you do, and what sort of stuff are you going to do on this you got two or more on this or what are you going to do yeah just places that the the streety can't go yep you know those little sea of dirt road and we'll wonder where that goes yep you don't have to respect it as much as you do the, the yep. street by have you got off road yet or not no not yet not, not yet no. no not yet well so where would be your first trip i mean you're up around Crisby, you've got yeah, plenty of roads through the, the yeah. yeah up through the state forest yeah it'd be great yeah Fantastic. So, and you're glad you got it. And yeah. what, 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 what made you get one? Just I well, I want to go to Cape York at some stage. Okay, yep. That's that's on the that's the one of the major bucket list things. Yep. And uh, I want to do it in comfort. And you know, I had a KLR and I just you know. it's not the KLR's not it's not the same sort of thing. It, no. If, if, if this is easier to ride long a, distances. It's a, yeah, it's a great bike, yep. but. Yeah, this is this is built for comfort. Yeah, yeah, a bit like us, mate. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go, guys. We have got here. We got one, two, three, four, five, five here today. 
Uh, blokes all got other Harleys as well, but we're not went along with these Pan Americas. Uh, will I be getting one? Probably not, but I sort of I've done a lot of my dirt stuff, so I probably don't need to do much more. And any dirt stuff I do, I could I generally do it on the whatever whatever tour I'm touring on. So um, but I can see the benefit of these. Uh, let us know in the comments if you reckon it's a good idea to get one of these or if you're thinking about getting one um, and what modifications you would do. Um, but other than that, I think look, I think they're a very cool looking bike, to be honest with you. Oh, look, who knows what you do in the future, but they, they, are, they are a ripper looking bike, a ripper looking bike. And if you're thinking about getting one and you're anywhere near uh, Geelong Harley, go and, go and speak to those guys. Right, hey, that's lunch. That was good chat to the get to the boys just gonna head back now uh gonna get take the back way out through gonna end up at uh, a place called guildford through dalesford it's a nice trip home actually so let's go So we thought we'd stop along the way. We're just the other outside of Malden, and we stopped here. This here, that's an old, that's the old uh, part of the. It was basically like a dredge, and um, that over there is a processing plant. That's a trommel. That's the big crane that used to drag it through the water. You can see it's still floating. Um, so obviously this is from the gold mining days. This here is a, a, a part of the processing plant. That's the buckets. So those buckets would would dig in the ground, fill up with ore and process it in that trommel over there, drop it in the top and get the gold. Huh. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, it's wicked. Oh, look how the bucket goes. Oh, yeah. It touches it. Yeah, see? That's the bucket line there. Yeah, yeah. I think with the conveyor belt, comes on, digs it up from here. So you can see down there, hope you can see that. The bucket down there goes up the top, drops the ore in the top there, gets processed, the tailings flung out that there's that conveyor belt down the end so any of you people that watch gold rush this is what they're using basically it's one of these things comes through that trommel there the gold drops out runs down the sluice boxes and the waste gets pushed out the back and that's been here for a long long time look at that it's an ant's nest ant's nest ant's nest <laughs> Could have had a very good catastrophe there. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've never seen a bloke move his foot so fast. <laughs> I thought you said, I thought you said there's gold there, there's gold there. <laughs> I saw the ground moving. <laughs> Alright, that's the dredge. So that's at the Bendigo side of Molden if you want to come have a look. Ready to roll? Now we're just coming into Molden. So we just stopped here, this is the Guildford pub, and uh, this is a real old, another old mining, uh, mining town. The Guildford General Store, that's that's another cool spot if you're ever coming through to um, have a look at. But this pub, pub here, um, if you're ever through here, come and drop in say hello, the 
pub, the publican was fantastic. Really good you had a chat to. You can get meals here. It's only open Saturday and Sunday, but what a great spot, eh, John? Oh, bloody beautiful. Unreal. Yeah. So much history in this area. Bloody yeah, history. it's incredible. Yeah, crazy. Beautiful. Really nice. And like all the old buildings down there, they're really, really nice, but uh, yeah, look at them all. That's the, that's the old cricket ground there. Mate, you gotta get off the couch. You gotta keep getting off the couch. Honestly, it's fantastic. So back in the gold rush, all this here that you're looking at, that was all dug up. I'll put a picture up there to show you. All that was all dug up was 30 or 40 foot deep. There was miners everywhere. And now look at it, it's all been reclaimed. It's just, it's crazy, A, how Mother Nature repairs itself, and B, the amount of work humans can do with a pick and shovel. Oh no, it's another interesting part. See all this here, all this red stuff? That's the original level of the ground. All that has been taken out and processed for mining. All that's gone. So it's probably, I don't know, 40 meters, 50 meters deep. How incredible is that? Amazing. That's insane. <laughs> Rightio, that's another day on the road with the Harley Road Show. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Remember, keep getting off the couch. We'll catch you next time. See you guys.